we are finding some relief from the heat along our shoreline. 71 degrees in Harrisville, 73 in Tawas City. It's 79 in Rogers City, 78 in Atlanta. And we have some lower 80s farther to the west. And the uh, dew point is sitting into the 60s along M33. So away from the shoreline is where it's feeling more humid with dew points of 63 in Mayo, 64 in West Branch. The dew points are a bit lower along the US 23 corridor. So it's feeling notably less humid in places around Alpena and Harrisville where the dew points are down to the middle 50s. We have seen some showers forming west of the interstate, but not much really happening over our area with mostly to partly sunny skies throughout northeast Michigan. Our next disturbance is tracking through Minnesota and the Dakotas, and it's going to increase our chances of showers and a thunderstorms heading into Friday. The next storm system farther out to the west over Idaho and Montana is going to catch up pretty quickly and move in on Saturday. So for tonight, we're staying dry throughout the area. We're going to be seeing partly cloudy skies throughout tonight and into tomorrow. Really not a whole lot of anything active going on through Thursday. Thursday. And then on Friday, we are likely going to start with a dry weather early in the morning. But as we go through the day, we will have a chance for some spotty showers and thunderstorms to develop. I don't think we're getting any widespread soaking, but there's at least the chance of a few raindrops falling as we go into Friday. For tonight, low temperatures heading down to 55 degrees in Alpena, 59 degrees in Mayo, 57 in Tawa City, partly cloudy skies and light winds. Tomorrow, again, a wide range in temperatures with an east breeze blowing off of Lake Huron. It'll be cooler closer to the shoreline, 73 in Harrisville, 76 in Tawa City, getting up to 88 degrees in Mayo, a high of 79 in Alpena. Alpena and we're going to see some sunshine. The solar eclipse is taking place early tomorrow. That's because the moon is going to cast a shadow onto the earth blocking sunlight. It does not happen more often because the moon's orbit is on a tilt. So often it does not get in the way of satellite reaching the earth. Around Alpena, about 77% of the sun is going to appear blocked around sunrise tomorrow. The maximum part of the eclipse taking place at 551. We should have fairly good viewing conditions with partly cloudy skies and a temperature during the eclipse around 58 degrees. So for tomorrow, we will have highs near 79 degrees and partly cloudy skies. During Friday morning and afternoon, we will have a chance of spotty thunderstorms. High temperatures for Friday about 78 degrees. Starting off in the middle to upper 50s early on Saturday, highs near 78. We will have another chance of some scattered showers and thunderstorms from midday to the early evening on Saturday. Sunday is looking drier. We'll see increasing cloud cover throughout the day with high temperatures around 81 degrees. Monday is looking partly cloudy with a high of about 77 degrees. Tuesday, sunny and cooler starting off in the lower 50s, highs near 74 degrees. And then on Wednesday, we'll have mostly sunny skies with high temperatures close to 76 degrees.